What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded and as most of you know, I am not a professional boxer. Probably one of my weakest weapons if I were to compare it to my Muay Thai, wrestling or Jiu Jitsu. With that said, I recently got this new Cobra bag from High Sport and I swear to you, it's been improving my reflexes, timing, speed and head movement. And today I'm going to be showing you my favorite ways to use a Cobra bag. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe as well as hit the notification button so you can update when a new video is released. So in this first drill, we're just going to pop our jab, slip to the right, then slip to the left. So I really like this cobra bag, as it keeps you real and honest. If you don't punch completely straight at the bag, it won't shoot back at you straight, and if you slip your head to the side, it may still hit you because it isn't bouncing back directly at you. So pretty much, you need to hit it nice and flush every strike. The harder you punch, the faster rebound you get. The next drill, we're going to throw the jab cross, slip to our left, and throw that big left hook. So this drill helps to develop your speed, timing, and accuracy because you want to try and land the hook after the bag bounces back. It is tough because you are hitting the bag in a straight line, but you are throwing a circular punch after. Maybe I make it look easy as you watch right now, but make sure you watch the bloopers at the end. I can't count how many times I missed the bag. In this next one, I'm going to dart it with my cross, step in quarter turn, and into my jab cross. Now we are hitting the bag in a straight line, cutting the angle and striking with our jab cross. It is tough because it requires more timing to hit the bag with more straight punches as the bag swings back and forth left to right, not directly at us in a straight line. Again, you'll see at the end, the bloopers, how many times I missed. On this next one, we're going to work on creating an angle and using accuracy and time to hit the target. So, we're going to step in with a jab cross, step to the side and slip, and land that cross. Similar to the previous drill, we are throwing straight punches, then cutting the angle, requiring much more timing to land the third punch. So, start with a light jab and slowly add power as you get better with your timing and speed. In this next drill, we're going to throw our jab to hit the bag, it's going forward and as it comes back, we're going to pull back just enough, just an inch to get out of the way and fire back with the cross, so the pull back cross counter. In this drill, we again want to strike the bag flush so that bounces straight back at us. We work on our distance control, trying to lean back just enough to get out of the way and land our pull back cross as the bag is bouncing back. The harder you throw your initial jab, the faster the bag comes back at you and the harder it is to hit it. I would say I'm hitting only about 50% with my initial jab, and when I tried with 100%, the bag shot right back at me and hit me in the face. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that on camera for you to see. For the next drill, we're going to focus on our left hook. So we're going to throw our jab, and as the bag is swinging back, we're going to try to time it and land our left hook. This drill here works your accuracy, but primarily your speed. How fast can you transition from a jab to your lead hook? The harder you jab, the faster the bag bounces back, and the harder it is to land the hook. Again, I was only hitting with about 50% power, but when I tried with 100%, I kept missing the hook. Alright, this next one is going to be for endurance, speed, and accuracy. So we're going to throw our jabs 10 times in a row. This drill here can work your speed and accuracy, but it's pretty easy to hit it consistently because the bag is shooting back at you at a straight line, and you're also punching in a straight line. This is great for building endurance in the shoulders. I've been jabbing the bag 10 times in a row, but feel free to go for sets of 15, 20 or more. Alright, this next one is going to be the same thing. We're going to throw a jab cross 10 times. Again, working our accuracy, speed and endurance. This last drill is the same as the previous drill, working your shoulder endurance, except requires a bit more accuracy because you are throwing your left or right straight punches and you need to hit it flush for it to bounce straight back. Now if you hit it slightly off to the side, it will bounce back slightly off to the side and you would need your accuracy to hit it back into a straight line. Shot. Shot. 
If you guys think you may be interested in one of these Cobra bands, check out the link in the description box below and use MMA Shredded discount code to get 10% off.